Hey guys, Metal Kid here, coming back with my Christmas haul video. <clears throat> I'm waiting on one thing that's not here yet. Um, just waiting on that to get shipped out, so hopefully they'll get here soon. Probably do an unboxing for that one. Um, but I got <clears throat> what, six records here. Um, the first three are actually not metal at all, it's actually hip hop. I've uh, been getting into these artists a lot lately, and um, I just really like them. And like, the first one everybody's gonna know because of what they are, um, and it's like an experimental hip hop kind of noise, and of course that's Death Grips. Um, this is the Money Store. Front, There's the back of it. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what it is about them. It's just I've really gotten into them um, a lot lately, and that's one side of the inner sheet. The other side. Um, it's just. I just love the way they combine like the harsh noise, like the technical stuff, and the rap and everything. It's not like it. It's just on plain black vinyl. Um, and it does come with a lyric sheet for it, too. But yeah, if you haven't checked out Death Grips, um, I'd recommend it. Uh, this is, um, like I said, it's kind of like an experimental hip hop. Um, where it's, uh, like, noise and hip-hop electronics. I mean, like, I really think it's their purpose to kind of make you feel uneasy with their music. <clears throat> and same band, Death Grips. This is The Powers That Be. Um, this is actually, uh, two releases together. Um, that they released as one, The Gatefold. First one, the second one, and um, both of these, I believe, come with their lyric sheets, yep, and both of them are just going to be plain black vinyl. Um, I actually grabbed this one when I was out in uh, Dallas for Christmas. One side, other side, but yeah. Really liking them a lot. Um, it's funny. I was playing um, the single from No Love Deep Web for my sister in law, and she said she felt like she was summoning the devil. It's hilarious. And uh, I'm not going to pull out the other vinyl because it's black, but here's a lyric sheet for the second one. But yeah, really good hip hop. Um, makes you feel uncomfortable for sure. Uh, like I said, I, I believe it's their purpose to make you feel uncomfortable with their music. But yeah, if you haven't checked out Death Grips, definitely do it. Um, I think some people might be pleasantly surprised with it. And I can't get this in right now because my hands are cold. Yeah, it actually snowed here in Louisiana, which is kind of crazy. Um, it, it hasn't snowed here in forever. Alright, so next up um, was on a lot of people's end of the year list, 2016, I believe, um, and that is <clears throat> Aesop Rock with the Impossible Kid, I mean, just really good hip-hop, uh, I mean, his, his lyrics are great, uh, I like the way he flows and everything, um, but yeah, so it comes with like this gigantic poster. That like folds out a lot, but I'm not gonna fold it out completely because it's gigantic. <clears throat> Came with like a little download card, a little hype sticker. I like keeping that. Um, and things like that. So I'm gonna take these out. But the vinyl are actually pretty cool. I like that. The inner sleeves are just awesome. Like with that kind of crazy like artwork. There's a cover, just not colored in, and it actually came on two different colors. This is kind of like, they said it was supposed to be like a hot pink color, but it's more like a magenta color. And what I like about it, it's die cut, so you can keep the poster in there, and it's actually like a top load like this, which is pretty cool. And I love the color of this one, just because it's my favorite color, but see it right here? Like a lime green color. That's the other side of the inner sleeve. 
Really happy to own it. Um, been meaning to pick it up. It's just like I got so much hype the year it came out. I kind of blew it off because didn't want to follow the crowd and everything. But yeah, track listed on the back. But yeah, Aesop Rock, the Impossible Kid. Focus. Back up. Why are you not focusing? I don't know. There we go. Of course, the focus is after that. But okay, so next up is actually the black metal stuff. Well, one's technically not black metal. But um, one of my friends actually bought me this for Christmas. Um, trying to get all the full lengths of this band has. And that is Mutilation. With Vampires of Black Imperial Blood. This is the Jakar 2017 repress. I believe. Yeah, 2017 repress. <coughs> of it. It's a gatefold. The iconic picture of him just kind of staring off into nothingness. And I don't believe this comes with the lyric sheet. No, it didn't come with the lyric sheet, but both of them do come on this nice white vinyl. So I'm not gonna show the other one because it looks the exact same, but I do like the uh um, the labels in the middle, I mean, that side's kind of boring, but, like, I got logo right there on that side. It's the same on the other one. But, yeah, super happy to get that. I think I just need Grimly Reborn and... I forgot the other one. Um, it was the second one right after this. Is the other, like, the two after this is what I need. Um, but, yeah, like, I mean, Mutilation, great French black metal band. If you haven't heard them, definitely check them out. Nice and raw. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this band. I'm trying to get everything. Actually, gonna put this one. On. And last two, of course, if you know me, you know my obsessions, you're gonna know what this band is. But, um, <clears throat> I actually got two things I've been needing to pick up on vinyl. First one's gonna be the Blind Wound. This is. Gorgeous cover. I like the spot gloss, like on the front and the back. I just love the artwork on the front. Um, and this is actually the Leviathan split of the Leviathan Septhorn split, um, <clears throat> which I have that one on CD, but I wanted to get it on vinyl, of course. And of course, when I saw this one online, I got it for a really good price, and it's Christmas time. Parents are asking me what I want for Christmas, so I ordered this. They paid me back for it, but I thought it was fitting for the time of year, and it is. The red green split. Um, had a few people call it the uh, the Christmas Pokeball version of it, but really good. Um, I mean, it's Leviathan. You know, you guys know how I feel about Leviathan, so had to get it. Um, and then the last one that I picked up is something I've been after for a while. Um, Finally glad I got it. I got it for a really good price, too. Um, and that is uh, a Silhouette and Splinters. And this is the one on Profound Lord. This is the first press. So <clears throat> that means that I have all the full-length um, albums that he did on first press vinyl now. And it's just the plain black inner sleeve. And then it is actually pressed on red vinyl. Which, I'm happy to finally get this, you know, I'm kind of collector scum for Leviathan, and I've been wanting to get this one for a while. It's just kind of hard to find for a good price. Um, this was actually like 50 bucks um, on uh, Discogs, but I contacted the seller, asked him if he'd go anything lower. He was able to, and I was actually able to get it for like $32 shipped to me. So super happy with that price. Um, so I got a couple of splits I gotta get, compilation, like the How Mockery compilation on vinyl, and then uh, the new demo vinyl. I was able to snag one of the deluxe edition copies before it sold out within that like 45 minute span. So I'm happy about that. Um, I still need to do my stuff that I picked up in South Korea, which um, I might do it now, I might do it tomorrow, I don't know when I'll record the video. 
But, um, I might be doing an unboxing of that last thing that I'm waiting on to come in. Um, before I do the South Korea thing, it just depends on when that comes in, when I feel motivated to do my other video. And actually pull out everything I pulled, got from there, because I got a decent amount from South Korea. As opposed to Japan, it was like five, I got like maybe ten or twelve out in Korea, and some of them were really good things, some of them are just kind of basic things I saw while I was over there, I could get it for the same price here, so I just grabbed it while I was there, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, that's everything for this video guys, let me know if you liked it, um, like I said, if you haven't checked out Death Grips, definitely do it, Aesop Rock, Leviathan, Mutilation, all good stuff, so until next time guys, bye.